Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I am Mark Wheeler, Managing Partner for Strategic Options and a member of the SIR Marketing Committee. Joining us today is an interview with James Nofziger, Director of Client Services for Bellamy Research. James, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mark, for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, no worries at all. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, Bellamy is a full service market research firm focused on helping companies make smarter business decisions and market intelligence. Tell us about your role and how you work with companies. Sure. As um, director of client services, my main role is to ensure that clients' business needs get met. So one of the things that I do is interact with the clients and my team works with insurance and financial services exclusively. Um, my goal is to help them figure out good ways to ask questions that will help them address their business challenges. We do that through quantitative studies, through qualitative studies, um, but primary research so that we're hearing from their customers or prospects uh, immediately and then can help them solve their business issues. Oh, terrific. Thank you for that overview. Now, I know that you're a member of, of SIR. Why did you become a member and, and how do you engage with the organization? And the members of the organization. Yeah, sure. Um, we became a member uh, four or five years ago, and um, it really was an opportunity to, uh, first of all, uh, network with people who are in the industry that I represent and serve every day. So that you know was really important. But and as a vendor, that makes sense, right? But then almost as important is understanding what's going on in, in the insurance industry. Hearing that firsthand from practitioners who are still at carriers, um, one of the big important things for us, you know, we hear from our clients what their problems are. At SIR, we hear about the industry problems. Oftentimes they are in alignment, sometimes they aren't. And when I can talk to my clients and say, but what about this? It just helps make their end, end results better. So that's why we participate. Um, oh, I serve cool. on the also, I do serve on the research committee for SIR so, um, and have worked and done um, uh, presented last fall at the conference. Oh, that's terrific. Well, thank you so much for your participation and, and your commitment to that. Um, that. It's great to see how you engage. Let me ask you something as well. You talked about you know, the industry and what's happening there. Given your visibility into the industry, what trends do you see emerging that we should be conscious of? Yeah, you know, I think that the biggest thing that's happening now, and it's impacting insurance, and it's impacting research, right? And that's kind of AI. Um, you know, the, the whole trend with chat GTP, and now chat AI, and some of the other vendors that are out there, this stuff is impacting the way insurance industries interact with their member with their clients, correct? I mean, you know, whether it's in claim servicing, or whether it's with chat bots, it's just, it's part of our new world. Same thing goes for research. We are working on um, building out platforms that can ingest lots of information and have AI help us to uh, integrate that and to find themes in that. Things that you could never have done if you were trying to do with the individual. We can ingest, and not just us, but others, can ingest things like your CRM notes from your call centers and come up with themes that, you, that we're hearing from across multiple clients across thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of data records. That's just something that really wasn't possible if you had to have a manual person reading through it. So I think that my job has changed permanently because of the new technology. I know many of the people who work at SIR, their jobs will change. And across the insurance uh, industry, jobs are gonna change. And the way we do business will change because of this. Um, where this goes in five years, I don't know. But where it's gone in the last two years has been uh, world changing. Indeed. Well, thank you for that for that uh, those comments and that insight. I think we've just begun the conversation about AI, and I know there'll be lots of uh, discussions, and it will come up at future conferences as, as companies try to figure out how how best to integrate it and make it work. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that. Now we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to go to uh, some some fun questions for us. Okay. Now, do you have a favorite sport you follow or play? 
Well, I would say if you want to know what I follow, it's baseball. And it's I've been a lifelong Cubs fan, so long suffering for the most part. Um <laughs> in, in terms of what I do myself, I play golf a lot and um not great at it, but trying to get better. So goal for 2023 is to break 90. There you go. All right. Well, that's golf is one of those lifetime sports that I don't play, but as I understand, you know, you, you work at, you just keep working at it. So absolutely, that's great. Now, do you have a favorite color and do you have a lucky number? I do not have a lucky number. I would say my favorite color is green and okay. I'm not quite sure where that came from. But <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, a final question for us. Now, if you were in a talent show, what would you perform for the audience? Wow, that's a that's a good question um, and a tough one to answer. Um, you know, I I think about you know what I might do professionally to to entertain people, and I think that you know one of the cool things that almost looks like a magic trick would be doing some of the things that we just talked about in terms of using using some AI tools to show some people some crazy things. Um, one of the things that's been a lot of fun that we've been exploring here, um, in addition to text analytics, is even things like image recognition and image um, AI. So things like telling the AI tool, hey, draw me a picture of what embedded insurance looks like. And, you know, sometimes you learn some really interesting things and sometimes you just get you know, a picture of an insurance policy inside of a, tucked into a bed. Um, so, so AI is learning as we're learning, but it, that's a fun thing to do. And it's kind of one of those party tricks I pull out and say, yeah. hey, look at this. This computer can do these drawings for me. Um, some of them are cool. No, that's terrific. Well, as I said, I, I think AI is going to be with us and we're going to be talking about it quite a bit. Yeah. Well, James, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you sharing more about your role at Bellamy and all the work that you're doing at SIR. It was great to have you join us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mark.